compact SUVs, they've taken over the market, conquering the hearts and minds of the typical Indian buyer. So much so that every manufacturer wants to get in this business. And with us today, we have a newest entrant in this segment. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Vipul Puneta from Top Gear Mag India, and this is the all new Nissan Magna. It's here to lock horns with some very well established products in this segment. There's the Ford EcoSport, the Tata Nexon, the XUV300, the Vitara Brezza, and the Korean siblings, the Venue and the Sonnet, both of which are currently selling in extremely good numbers. Now, those are some stiff names to compete against. Well, let's see what the Magnite brings to this grueling party. Up front, you have this hexagonal grille that's sure to remind you of Nissan's sister brand. It's a tad bit large, but it's neatly integrated on that sharp face, which is complemented by those uber sleek headlamps and those trendy L shaped LED DRLs, followed by the LED fog lamps just under. All LED lighting is sure to turn heads, and leaving the grille out of the discussion box, these lights add up to a very bold front end. What's also striking are those wheels. They sure do grab attention, but are they really elegant or sporty? I don't seem to agree to the fullest. Yet, the dimensions are proportionate to the heavily pronounced wheel arches that wear plastic cladding around them to add to the SUV appeal. There's a judicious usage of chrome all around and it all combines to look very opulent. This bold bulge on the rear wheel arch is very interesting. It keeps drawing my attention. What you and me would both agree on is the fact that the shape and design seems inspired from its elder sibling, the Kicks. And that, in my books, is a really good thing. While most compact SUVs fail to impress with a rear design, the Magnet combines some bold design cues with a crisp tail to finish its exterior appeal. No conventional boxy dimensions, you get the Magnet insignia just under the new Nissan logo, a nicely done bumper with a scuff plate to add to its SUV appeal and some 3D looking lights. Now you've probably seen what the Magnet looks on the outside. There were a few spy shots of this exact production spec model that had surfaced earlier. What remained largely under the cover was the interior details, so let me show you just how good they are. The first thing to grab your attention is the roominess on the inside. It's really surprising how much space this body carves out on the inside and there are quite a few elements to like here. The hexagonal AC vents, the pattern finish on the dashboard and a few other places, the dedicated wireless charging slot, the driver tilted dashboard, wireless, that's right, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and even a 360-degree camera. The steering feels good and fit and finish has been executed really well. This seat upholstery features some very interesting pattern, and the only thing missing was an electric sunroof. Well, if a lower price point could compensate for that, that would keep us away from complaining much. The toy-like instrument cluster is something I wasn't entirely sure about, it's straight out of the 80s and the infotainment system isn't slick either. On to the race seats. Well, Nissan claims this to be the biggest cabin in its segment and we'll have to pull out our measuring tapes to second that. Nevertheless, the leg space was plentiful and the width of the cabin was generous. Headroom felt a little tight, but that's due to the sloping roof line on the outside. The central armrest has a dedicated slot for your phone and in all, this cabin is very, very comforting. Nissan is expected to launch the Magnite with at least two engine options, most likely a 1.0-litre 3-cylinder mill, both naturally aspirated and turbocharged. The mules on display here were turbocharged units and while Nissan hasn't given out the specifics, they've hinted at class-leading figures. That sure is going to keep the excitement level on the high. Also, we expect a manual transmission along with the CVT to make way for the Magnite at launch. So that was the Nissan Magnite for you. It sure is entering a highly contested segment, but it does have a few key strengths that would interest a lot of buyers. It's a very important product for Nissan and I believe the brand will leave no stone unturned in terms of the Magnite's pricing or service packages, all to promote a peaceful sense of ownership. Expect Nissan to launch the Magnite early next year and its pricing is going to be the key factor of its success. A starting price of just under 5 lakhs would draw loads of attention and that's what Nissan should be aiming at. Stay tuned for more updates from the auto world, subscribe to the Top Gear Mag India channel and click the bell icon to stay notified. While you're at it, let me know what do you think of the Mag Knight. Until next time, drive safe.